Hey guys, I've gotten a few requests for this video, so today I'm finally filming a body mist, lotion, candle, and perfume collection. I'm also going to be showing you how I store them as well, so I hope you guys enjoy! So here's where I keep all my lotions, body sprays, and candles. Well, most of my candles. I got this from Ikea. It sits right next to my bed. I'm sure you've seen it in some of my videos. It looks a little dirty on the top because I actually had a candle burning there before and I blew it out and the wax went everywhere and I cannot get it off for the life of me. So I'm going to have to look up how to get that wax off. On top of it, I just have um, these lights right here. They are from Ikea and they just change colors and I just put them in this glass with... Um, some like little white stone kind of things. Right here I just have a candle burning. This is Lakeside by Bath and Body Works and I just have it in a little um, candle holder. And then right here I just have a little thing of seashells from the beach. So it opens up and there are three sections. On the first section I just have my body sprays. On the second section I just have my lotions. And on the bottom I have some of my candles and like um, little room sprays and oils and stuff like that. In this little container right here, I just have my mini body mist that I got for free and stuff like that. First, I have Dark Kiss from Bath & Body Works, Midnight Pomegranate, Cucumber Melon, and this one is super duper old, Twilight Woods, Paris Amour, Secret Wonderland, this Avon Naturals Cherry Blossom Spray, a Cucumber Melon um, body mist, and I have no clue where I got this actually, it's pretty old. <laughs> This Secret Fresh Effects Body Mist, and this one is in Freshwater Orchid. Um, I just got this for free with one of my deodorants. I have another one of those, but this is in the scent Cocoa Butter. Then I have this Body Ecology Cherry Blossom Body Mist. This one is a really old Bath & Body Works one as well. This is just Coconut Lime Verbena. This one is from Avon, and it is the Very Luscious Body Spray, and this one smells like chocolate-covered strawberries. And then lastly, I just have this Sparkling Sugar Scents Sugar Mist Body Spray, and this is also from Avon. And this bin that I keep all my little body mists in is from Target. So next I'm just going to go through all the body mists that I have on the top shelf. This one is one of the mini pink ones and this one is a shimmer and shine soft and dreamy sparkling body mist. This one is lovely and true. This one is one of the pink beach mini ones and this one is in Beach Babe. Summer Crush. Sun Kissed. Then I have two of the pink fresh vanillas dream on body mists. I think one was gifted to me again by accident. And then I have two of the Pink Fresh Vanillas Feel Flirty Body Mists, and I think one of them was given to me by mistake. I guess they didn't know I had it, but that's alright because I really like the scent of it, and I'm sure I'll be running out soon. This one is the Pink with a Splash Fresh and Clean. This one is the Pink with a Splash Sweet and Flirty. This one is in Warm and Cozy, Wild at Heart, Pretty and Pure. This one is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Summer Edition Body Mist, and I got this last year. Then I just have this Hollister Body Mist, and this one is in Malibu Beach. I zoomed the camera back a little bit, so hopefully it'll focus a little better, because I noticed it wasn't really focusing, but this one is a Victoria's Secret Body Mist, and this one is in Vanilla Lace. I got this a few years back, and I've used quite a bit of it. I really, really like it. This one is Malibu Heat from Bath & Body Works, Country Chic. Pink Chiffon, and this is a Shimmering Body Mist. This is the Coconut one from the Summer Vanillas collection, Carried Away. Warm Vanilla Sugar, Aruba Coconut, Vanilla Bean Noel, which I am in love with, Lost in Fantasy from Victoria's Secret, Pure Seduction, Endless Love, Secret Craving, Wild Scarlet, Love Spell, another Pink Chiffon from Bath & Body Works. This is a Body Nature Vanilla Milk Refreshing Body Mist, and this was my great-grandmother's. Then I have a Twilight Wood Shimmer Mist from Bath & Body Works. Japanese Cherry Blossom, two of the Banana and Coconut Milk Body Sprays from Avon, Juicy Watermelon, a Mary Kay Red Tea and Fig Body Spritzer, an Aromatopia Dreamland Relaxing Blend Body Mist, and an Avon Naturals Body Mist, and this one is in Cucumber Melon. So now onto the second shelf. So first I just have this Very Sexy Now Shimmering Body Lotion from Victoria's Secret. This is a Moisturizing Aloe Lotion from Ocean Potion. I have two of the Coconut Lime Breeze Body Lotions from um, Bath & Body Works. Then I just have this Sally Hansen Salon Airbrush Legs thing. It's like a spray tan for your legs. I'm not really sure why this is in there, but I didn't have anywhere else to put it, so that's why that's in there. This is a Twilight Woods Flawless Gold um, Shimmer Body Spray. This is the Vaseline Spray & Go Moisturizer, and this one is in Cocoa Radiant. This is a Shimmer Gel & Body Lotion. It's like a two-in-one thing and carried away, and this is from Bath & Body Works. This is a Shimmering Body Cream, also from Bath & Body Works, and this is in Pink Chiffon. This one is Country Chic, Malibu Heat, 
This is a Victoria's Secret pink lotion in Fun and Fearless. This one is Warm and Cozy. This is a little Viva La Juicy um, body lotion. I just got this in a set for Christmas. This one is a mini drenched in pink fresh and clean lotion. This is a lotion from Bath and Body Works and it is in Bally Mango. This is part of the Signature Vanillas line and this is the lemon one. This one is Warm Vanilla Sugar, Aruba Coconut. This is a Jergens Natural Glow Foaming Daily Moisturizer. It kind of gives you a gradual tan. This is Pure Grace by Philosophy. This is a Healing Cherry Blossom Rice Milk Cashmere Body Cream and this is by Organics. This one is also by Organics and it is the Hydrating Moroccan Argan Oil Creamy Oil Body Lotion. This is Love Spell by Victoria's Secret. This is an Avon's Natural Lotion in Cherry Blossom. This is another Avon Lotion in Berry Luscious. This is a Vanilla Musk Body Lotion and I'm not sure where I got this because this used to be my mom's. This is an Avo Juice Lotion in Berry Juicy and I got this from my nail salon. This is from Victoria's Secret and it is the Vanilla Lace Lotion. I have two of the Egg Tray, I don't know how to pronounce that, but um, it is the Almond Lotion. This is a Mango Citrus Coconut Lotion and I'm not really sure where I got this. I think a friend gave it to me. Next I just have an After Sun Moisturizer and this smells like Lime Colada and this is by Hawaiian Tropic. This is the Body Nature Vanilla Milk Lotion. Then I just have this Hollister Laguna Beach Lotion. This is an Avon Lotion in Cucumber Melon. This is a really, really old Bath & Body Works Lotion in White Cherry Blossom. Also from Bath & Body Works, Cashmere Glow. This is the Nivea Body Sun Kiss Firming Moisturizer and it just gradually tans your skin. This one is a Hershey's Cocoa Shimmering Body Lotion and uh, my boyfriend Swan gave this to me and it smells delicious, just like chocolate. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel Body Lotion and as you can tell this is super duper old. I've had this for years. I guess I should probably throw it out. <laughs> this is an Avon Skin So Soft Satin Glow Daily Body Moisturizer and this just gradually tans your skin as well. This one gradually tans your skin as well. This is the Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. So now onto the very bottom shelf where I store all my candles and stuff like that. In the bottom right corner, I just have one of those little containers from Target that I have on the top. So in that bin, I just keep my candle lighter, some wallflowers, and um, some oils and sprays and stuff like that. I just have my lighthouse wallflower in here, and then another wallflower. Then I just have a seaside escape wallflower, a pineapple mango wallflower, and then an espresso bar wallflower, which is almost out. The first oil I have here is an apple crumble oil, and this is from Bath & Body Works. This oil is in fresh bamboo, then white palm, Japanese cherry blossom, Caribbean escape, s'mores, warm vanilla sugar, and then lastly, fresh linen. Now for sprays, I just have Bahama Fizz, Beach Cabana, Apple Crumble, Vanilla Coconut, Japanese Cherry Blossom, and lastly, S'mores. So right next to where I keep the box, I keep my mini candles, and I have two of them. The first one is Suntan, and then Root Beer Float. So now I'm just going to show you guys the rest of the candles in the bottom. This one is Espresso Bar, Peach Bellini, Aloha Wakiki, Summertime S'mores, Pineapple Orchid, Oceanside, Tiki Beach. This candle is actually from Walmart, but it smells really good and it really smells up the room. This one is Lime Sherbert. Back to the Bath & Body Works candles, this one is Frosted Cupcake, Palm Beach Cooler, Lemon Mint Leaf, and then Coconut Lime Verbena. So I just keep this little box underneath my bed for all my fall or winter candles and also ones that just don't fit in there. This one is a Bath & Body Works candle in Dark Chocolate Mint. This one is in Winter, Marshmallow Fireside. This is a candle that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond and it smells like birthday cake and it actually had sprinkles in it but it looks a hot mess now, but yeah, it had little sprinkles on it, which is really cute. This is a Christmas candle that my teacher got for me. There's a bunch of little stuff in there. It's like one of those gel candles. This is a Yankee candle in Christmas cookie. This is a Bath & Body Works candle in cinnamon sugar donut, which smells amazing. I love the scent, and I don't know where the cap went. <laughs> this one is candied sugar plum. And then the last one in that box is the White Barn number one nutmeg and spice candle and I love this scent. It smells so amazing. I love fall scents. I think I like them even more than summer scents actually. This is a little thing that we used to have in our living room but my mom let me take it upstairs and I just store some of my candles in it and my seashells and stuff. I just have white sand burning from Bath & Body Works and if you can see me, hello! I just have seashells and stuff in there and at the very bottom that's where I store some of my candles that don't fit in the other thing. First I have fresh bamboo, poolside, beach cabana, the aromatherapy stress relief candle, Caribbean salsa, meet me in Tahiti, honeysuckle, boathouse row, beach grass, seaside escape, vanilla coconut, twilight woods, and then lastly the 2013 limited edition summer boardwalk candle. So here is where I store my perfumes. I just put them onto a mirrored tray. This right here is a candle that my boyfriend's mom got me. It just has little seashells and stuff in it, but I don't like to burn it, so I just put it there for decoration. 
This is a Philosophy Amazing Gray Solid Perfume. This is a little Viva La Juicy Rollerball. This is a Viva La Juicy Travel Size one. And then this is a full size Viva La Juicy. If you can't tell, I am in love with Viva La Juicy. It is my all time favorite scent. Then I have Amazing Grace by Philosophy, Falling in Love by Philosophy, Boyfriend by Kate Walsh, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Cologne, Don't Judge Me, It Smells Good. This cherry vanilla perfume, and I think I got it at Rite Aid, I'm not really sure. This is a Hollister perfume, I believe it's called Malia, I have no clue how to pronounce that. This is what the bottle looks like and there's barely anything left, which is pretty depressing. This is the Mary Kay Tribute perfume. This is the Laura Ashley number no. 1 perfume, and this was my great grandmother's. I just keep it on there because it smells like her and reminds me of her and the bottle is really, really pretty. This is a Cura perfume from Pexun. Then I have three of the Nolly perfumes and these are all from Pexun. This is Future Favorites by Paxun, and this is the Cura Perfume, also from Paxun. This is Black Poppy, also from Paxun. They were having a deal, both of them, for $5, so I figured, hey, why not? But I don't really like this one as much as the other one. This is the Hollister Rider Perfume, and it's in a pretty funky-looking bottle. This is the Hollister SoCal Cologne, and this is Ricky's old one, and I just spray it sometimes when he's not here. It smells just like him. This is an Aeropostale perfume. I have no clue what it's called. I haven't went there for years. This is super, super old, but it smells really good. And then lastly, I just have my Abercrombie & Fitch perfume number one. So that's my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what your favorite scent is, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!